I wanted to share with you a few of the ways that you can use essential oils. Um, now, it's always important to make sure you look at the bottle for labeling and follow those guidelines. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me or somebody else that you might know. Now, um, again, the sample I sent um, and I showed you how to open it. Uh, we got this. Now, uh, aromatically, topically, or internally are the three ways that you can enjoy doTERRA essential oils. Now, if we wanna use it aromatically, we can place it in the palm of our hand. So again, just a little drop. Rub. And inhale deeply. Now you can always use the residual of that um, to place on different areas of your body, on your chest, on your belly, wherever is needed. Um, on your on your pillowcase, if if uh, whatever the need is, listen to your gut and just put it there. You can't go wrong, really. Now another way to use the essential oils aromatically is with a diffuser. Here's an example of a diffuser from doTERRA. It's a beautiful one. Um, now diffusers, the ultrasonic diffusers, is sprays, sprays a very fine mist. Um, and so you'll see there's water in here and there's always a water mark line. And again, just place a couple drops of oil into the water. Put the cover back on or however the direction state you um, use the diffuser and you just turn on and enjoy the beautiful aromas. It's fantastic. All right. Aromatically, topically, I talked a little bit about that because uh, uh, putting the residual on your skin. Now, another way of using the oils topically is in a direct method. Um, say you have your um, deep blue oil or copaiba and you're wanting to address some aches or areas where it's uncomfortable. Now you would want to, especially with the deep blue, um, you would want to put it on with some coconut oil to, di to dilute it for safety. And basically you just place a little bit of oil in your hand or on the area and a drop or two of the oil and apply as needed. Um, so again, that's topical use and topical, again, you can apply directly um, to the areas of need of concern. Please make sure to never place in your eyes, ears, um, or sensitive areas and wash your hands after you're done. Okay, now finally, um, the final use of doTERRA essential oils, and again, I'm speaking doTERRA when we talk about this, is internal use. Now, when we can use uh, the oils internally, we know this because if we look at the original bottle, it does have a nutrition supplement fact uh, label on it. So that's how you know you can take it internally. There's different ways to do so. You can put a drop straight under your tongue um, and drink some water. Uh, depending on what the need is, you can put, uh, you basically, uh, put your thumb, um, with some oil on it and apply it to the roof of your mouth. Um, and you can definitely also place it either in an empty gel cap and, and take it as a supplement or put, uh, it in a glass of water. Make sure if you are drinking it, with water, you are using glass or stainless steel so you're not leaching toxins from plastic containers. All right, so again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Those are the three ways to use doTERRA essential oils, aromatic, topically, and internally. Have fun.